guys and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be taking you through my entire morning gym routine. In the morning, it's pretty simple. I get myself ready, I pick out an outfit, and I have a breakfast and pre-workout, and then I'm on my way to the gym. Today, I'm gonna be hitting upper body, specifically shoulders, with a little bit of chest and triceps today. And you guys know, I start every single workout with a warm-up. Team, never skip a warm-up through and through. So I'm beginning by foam rolling just because my legs are super sore. Anytime I'm in the gym and I'm just feeling tight, it's so nice to give a little bit of a foam roll, give myself a little bit extra love, time and attention to loosen things up. Next up, I'm grabbing a PVC pipe and I do these same exercises every time before an upper body day. I love to do the up and overs. I think they're called dislocations, some people call it, and then these around the world. I love both. Especially since I'm working shoulders, I want my shoulder mobility to be right up there, ready and good to go. I'm adding in a couple extra moves. I really wanna activate my core. I'm in this whole core challenge series. So before I wanna make sure I'm bracing, I'm remembering that and also helping warm up my shoulders by being in this high plank. Again, to work my core and shoulders, I'm doing shoulder taps. I'm trying to stay as straight as I can. And then I'm moving into push-ups. Again, give myself a little bit of a warm up, doing some body weight exercises, focusing on form, working chest, triceps, shoulders in this, and your core. What was that? What the freak was that? When I tell you I was wheezing when I first saw that, like literally an understatement. Instagram saw it first, you guys. So moving into exercise one, we've got shoulder press. Okay, I have not shoulder pressed in a hot minute with traveling and everything. Like it has just not been a priority. So I'm putting up the 30s. They felt pretty light, pretty good. Oh, these were actually 35s. So I moved on to 40s. And if you can't tell, your girl's a little bit nervous. Okay, hyping myself up, doing some deep breathing, getting my core activated, and me just praying. Can I get these 40s up? We shall see. And I barely do it. That right arm, I did not kick up enough. When you get up on shoulder press, you know, you try to kick up the weights. It did not work, but I think I got six, four. I might have been four. And you know what? I'm proud of that because I have not shoulder pressed 40s in a hot minute. Big tip is bring your elbows in slightly and try to make sure your wrists are straight. Two great tips for when you are shoulder pressing. Exercise number two, I'm moving into a superset. I just love to do skull crushers with close grip chest press. I wanted to hit chest and triceps a little bit and this is an awesome way to do it. So I just did eight to 10 skull crushers and then eight to 10 close grip chest presses right after. I love going from one to the other. This is a good way that I'm able to push myself to the next level. So if you have not tried this superset yet, totally recommend it. My key tips are to watch your elbows, keep them in close to your body. And when you're doing skull crushers, you're just bending at the elbow, okay? Try to keep them in the same place. Exercise three, we're getting back into shoulders. So I'm doing some lateral raises and I wanted to kind of change it up and do them seated that way. Again, I'm kind of decreasing any kind of momentum that I'm trying to pull standing, you know, when you're swinging and everything, which I really try not to do ever, but it's just a fun alternative to try these out. Loved this as a variation and these burned to say the least. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh. The next exercise are front raises. So I have my bench at kind of a 35 incline. It's a pretty low incline and I have a straight bar. This is like 20 pounds. It's pretty light because I'm doing front raises this way. And these were brutal. Such a good exercise. Absolutely loved this one. Give it a shot. Don't you try to call me tomorrow. 
I'm finishing things off with my core challenge. Right now I'm running my core program. So I'm on week two, day two, and all of these exercises are five exercises. You do them two rounds, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and it lasts for 10 minutes. So these are 10 minute total and I'm trying to just bring it back to the fundamentals when it comes to my core program. So this is my little check-in with you guys. It's been going good so far, definitely challenging, but I've been loving using my own app because it's so nice whenever I'm like, oh, I wonder what to do. I'm feeling a little uninspired. It's so nice to go into here and have a workout for me ready to go. So I don't have to go in and plan them on the spot or like be lost, not know what to do. So absolutely love this and I always am looking for ab and core workouts because that's what I skip the most. A big tip when it comes to working your core, you want to keep your back flat against the mat and really push using your belly button. Even just simple breathing exercises of that, that deep core work is so amazing. So if your back is popping up, really focus on that. Have that be a really big goal because your core is more than just your front abs that people think about. It is all of the muscles in your trunk from your back to your front, your internal, external obliques, and not to mention your pelvic floor. So there's a lot more when it comes to your core and working it has been awesome so far. that's gonna wrap up today's video I hope you liked it I want to bring more workouts to YouTube let me know if that's something that you're interested in and yeah I pretty much hope that you guys enjoyed today's video of my little morning gym routine so with that being said don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can follow me on Instagram TikTok, and listen to my podcast every single Wednesday and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video bye